One of the big stories uh, to come out of round number 14 uh, in the NRL was that elbow from Felice Cafusi on uh, Sam Walker. Of course, Sam Walker taken out of the game with a HIA, or uh, failing a HIA, rather. Uh, and um, Cafusi was hit with a grade one dangerous contact charge. Uh, it was um, uh, overthrown at the judiciary on Tuesday night and rather Controversial circumstances, you'd have to say. Certainly the majority of rugby league fans uh, disagreed with that decision from the judiciary. And in fact, we're surprised that Kafusi decided to challenge the $1,000 fine that he would have paid with an early guilty plea to begin with. But I think you have to remember in this uh, circumstance that um, there is there is a real, um, you know, thing about Kafusi obviously injuring Walker. If Walker didn't get injured, this is probably a non-event because it does happen quite a bit in the NRL. You know, you've got to think about players like Jared Rhea Hargraves and Nelson Asofa Solomona. There's a few uh, more, certainly, that they're the two that probably come to mind when you think about players running at uh, at defenders with raised forearms or, or you know, certainly not a traditional fend uh, with the open palm. And Kafusi is one of them. He does have track history, but the only reason this made it as far as it did is because he made contact with Walker's uh, head, uh, and certainly then uh, he had to go off with an injury. Without that, this is a non-event. Not, you know, I think the judiciary, while needing to take into account that yes, he did make contact with Walker's head, and it is Kafusi's job to avoid it in a similar way that it's the defender's job to avoid making contact with the shoulders or head of an attacker, uh, regardless of where they are. Uh, it, well, it, there is probably precedent there to suggest that maybe he should have got off 